Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today I have a brand new job. It's a pretty big one. We are guarding the gates of hell from sinners escaping in a game called Heretic's Fork. This is an interesting genre blending game. It is a card-based game. It's a tower defense game, and uh, it's got this interesting, you know, computer-like premise that we have going on right now. Uh, I've played a few rounds already. Absolutely fantastic. I love everything about this, so I'm super excited to get further into it. Uh, right now, I have some money, so I think I'm going to unlock a few more cards because the cards are essentially what we can use in the game. So each card is $25. Uh, we got increase all Hellfire damage by 50%. You probably won't understand what any of these do until we get into the game. So I think I'm going to spend all spend. I guess we'll get four. Well, that's pretty good. Sets all existing enemies HP to one. Okay, let's get into the game so you can actually see what's going on. Currently, I am Intern Ruby, which has no special abilities and starts with a randomized basic deck. Maybe I should have actually bought this guy, but we have $118. We should be able to buy this guy for $250 pretty soon here. All right, we're going to open the rift and get out there and defend against it. So how this game works, there's a lot on the screen right now, but it's pretty basic. Up here is our structures. We can currently have two structures. The rest are locked, as you can see. So structures are either towers or garrisons. Towers do the shooty shoots. Garrisons spawn in troops. That is the premise of this game. And then you can upgrade said towers or troops with a whole plethora of different cards. Or you can debuff the enemies with cards as well. We have our power over here. This means we have six power to use. You can see the power at the top of the card, so I can put down two cards right now, unless I put down Repenters. And what makes this game really fun, in my opinion, is the upgrade path. So you can actually combine two of the same rarity of cards into a better card. So obviously, gray goes into green, green goes into blue, blue goes into purple, you know, the typical MMO uh, style of rarity. So I'm going to get rid of these two towers, and I was hoping for a better tower. I guess we only have items, though. And this is really bad for me because none of these items really help with garrisons, which is all I have left. I mean, I don't even know what these guys do. Oh, yeah, they do hellfire damage. So I guess we'll do that so we get some hellfire damage. And we're only going to be able to put out one of these. So I'm going to put out Repenters because it's more expensive. I'm assuming that means it's better. Now, unfortunately, at the end of my turn, I lose my hand and any cards in here. The only card I can keep is one that I create. So I'm going to keep that there because I cannot afford to use it right now. And let's start our first wave. So we have our Sinners coming in and my little... What are they? They're like little chompy monsters. But yes, my little chompy monsters going out. So we're going to speed this up a little bit. Obviously, the starting round is going to be pretty easy anyway. So I should be just fine with one garrison. Uh, but yes, we definitely do want... I don't know if we want to just go into garrisons right now. I feel like the smart idea in this game is to go full garrisons or full towers and then upgrade garrisons or towers. Because you can go into both, but then you're upgrading both more slowly, obviously. All right, so we're going to put this in our deck for right now. I don't want to spend the power just yet. Again, we don't have any towers, so I'm going to get rid of any tower card, upgrade to a blue, and we got a blue sniper garrison. So I guess we'll try that. I haven't used the, the, the snipers yet, so we'll drop them down, and we are maxed out for the starting of this game. Increases unholy damage. I do holy damage and hellfire damage. I have to remember that. Uh, so yeah, for right now, we're just going to put these greens in, upgrade to a blue of some sort. Uh, that is Repenters Blue. So currently we have a Gray Repenters. That is a major upgrade. So we'll put that in there for next turn. And I guess we'll just throw this in just because uh, we, we can use rocks for no power at all. So we, we may as well use said card. So we have little snipers now going out and they are indeed sniping. We have a nice long range defense right now, but I don't have a lot of damage output it seems like. So it's going to get pretty hard pretty quickly in this game. All right, so right away, we are going to destroy this structure. It only makes sense because we're going from gray all the way to blue. That is a major upgrade. I have two power left, so I can put um, garrison movement speed up by 10%. We'll do that. We'll combine these rocks together for something better. And unfortunately, none of these really help me at all. Just a bunch of tower cards. So I'll just put this over there to uh, keep it for later. All right, round three. Here we go. We got lots of creeps out. I do prefer towers in this game, so going this way is kind of interesting. I, ge I generally don't do this. We'll see how good it is. And we got a random item. Increases garrison unit range by 15%. Of course, we're going to get that one. And what a bad hand we got. We just got a bunch of rocks. I mean, rocks are free, but they're pretty much awful cards. Um, So I guess we'll do this. We'll take this tower out of there, turn some rocks into a green, maybe upgrade that green into a blue. 
So yeah, I just put a random green in. I want to get to the more rare items as quickly as possible. And increases garrison unit range again. I can do that. I think that's my best bet. So we are just adding a bunch of range to our garrison units. Perfect. All right. This over here is our current round as well. So we have two more rounds until the big boss wave. And then we move on to the next stage. So uh, that's going to be a harder wave coming up. I'm getting really unlucky with these cards. So that's not too great. But uh, I mean, that's kind of the whole point of a card game. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. Okay. So all I can really do right now is turn these into maybe a blue. Increases garrison unit movement speed. That's kind of nice. And we also have lifespan. You know what? I think I will probably do that lifespan because these things just randomly die after a while. Having them up for as long as possible seems smart. So that's going to be the majority of my power, too. I think that was a good investment because we haven't had many useful items yet. All right. Well, the good thing is, I mean, they're not even reaching my island or whatever this is. So we seem to be doing well with this build. I just got to get a bunch more items to buff these guys pretty quickly here. And more rocks, unfortunately. I'm just going to turn those immediately into a green. And we'll take Hellfire damage. Uh, I'm probably going to upgrade to a blue. We got all items, at least. Garrison unit movement. Garrison unit damage. Ooh. These are all pretty good, actually. So I think I'm going to do... Because I do Hellfire, right? With one of these guys. Uh, you know what? If it's just one, it's not that good. If we had a Hellfire build, that might be smart. So I think I'm going to keep the damage one. Movement speed. We've already upgraded a bunch. I want to see if I get lucky with a decent blue. All right. We have our first active. Creates a dark mark. Enemies that pass over the dark mark are cursed and recovers one hp on death of a cursed enemy Ooh, okay so i gain hp on that that's fantastic so i think we'll grab that one for sure and this turned into a pretty good turn so we get garrison unit damage up and we're our first active now you can automate the actives which i'm gonna do and it will put it in a spot that's going to help us the most so uh you can see it way up there right now not the best spot but as it respawns it's gonna put it essentially on top of any creeps that are getting close I didn't even notice till now. We, we have pirate ships out here spawning units. <gasps> and they spawn giant octopus. Great. Well, we're taking them down just fine. That was the boss fight. And we get to choose three cards. We can choose two of these three cards. I got one blue. Nice. So I'm definitely going to get Bless. Uh, essentially, he draws a card and makes that card free. And we'll get the garrison one, being that we're doing a garrison build, I guess, now. All right. And that was the big thing. We get an extra structure slot if we want, uh, which is fantastic. I can literally double my HP or 50% garrison spawn rate. I think this one makes the most sense being that I'm going to try and do a garrison build now. So yeah, we're going to do that. And we're going to be spawning a lot more creeps. All right. And we're at a new part of hell. Um, Looks like we have different enemies. Before I do any decision here, I'm going to upgrade this to a green. I don't really want any of these. So I'm just going to grab whatever. And I'm thinking we probably want to do lifespan. I really want to use my Bless card, though. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to do Bless. I might regret this. I really regret this. That freaking rocks are free anyways. Oh, now I can't put down Persistence. That, that was a big mistake on my part. I literally can't do anything this round. I guess I can increase tower damage with this stupid rock. Oh, this is getting much harder, too. Oh, even with my F faster spawn rate. They are coming really close. We might take our first damage here, and there it goes. Uh, so, yes, every time one creature escapes, we take a little bit of damage. Uh, we really got to increase our damage right now. All right. So what I think I'm going to do, take a big risk here because we have to do a big risk now. I'm going to upgrade to a blue. I'll grab summon. I might want to use that. But honestly, I think it would be smart to go and try and go for a purple right now and just see if we can, can get lucky. All right. So we actually have both of our garrisons. Uh, we can upgrade those to a purple, but I think I'm going to go for butchers of sins or butcher of sins. Sorry. Uh, sets all existing enemies HP to one. That is a fantastic active and we can automate that as well. So essentially it will wipe the whole screen for us more or less. And I have one power left. There's no card that's one power. So I'm just going to use these rocks instead of looking for a green. And that's going to give me a couple percentages of improvements and there we go using that card is fantastic looks like it has a long cooldown though all right we held out and i'm getting all rocks why i can't even get a second blue to upgrade my purple to an orange so i i think i'm just going to do this that's free i'm gonna keep my purple in there hopefully we get luckier with my cards next round and i'm just gonna use all these cards just because i can 
Well, this is the boss wave. I might die here. I got really unlucky the last few rounds with cards. I still only have blues. I should probably be away from blues right now. These are all going to hit. Can we focus on one? Just kill one. I, they're all going to hit us now. Okay, I did kill one. I killed two. We survived it. Okay, whew. Give me a purple. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we have a garrison again. Guns of God. Unfortunately, I'm not into that one. If I did have, for the record, a blue of repenters or snipers, I could upgrade that to a purple. I might get another structure unlock right now, just so I can put down guns of God. I'll see what other uh, choices we get. You always get the option for an extra slot. Ooh, HP regen's nice. And, well, that's obviously not what we're going to do. So, yeah, we'll definitely do the structure slot. And we already have a structure for said slot. Perfect. Where are we going now? Well, that's weird. All right, so we're going to put Guns of God here. It is tempting to use this Sunder Tower, but I'm buffed into garrisons now. So we're going the garrison build route. Uh, I can't use this because I want to keep this purple here. So I'm not going to upgrade these rocks to a green. I'm just going... This is actually great. Um, active recharge rate is fantastic, and I don't care what these rocks do. We'll just use them real quick. All right, so we got three garrisons now. Seems like we're holding off okay for the start, but they are getting very, very close to my mouth or whatever the hell this is. All right, I did get a blue, so I can make this into a green. I can make the blue into a purple, and then I can upgrade the purple to an orange if I want to. I think I'm going to take the major risk and do that, so we'll put this back in our inventory. Upgrade this. Unless we get something amazing here, I would love to get an orange. All right, so we got a tower. Again, not interested in that. Upgrade that to a blue. I'm going to take Guns of God. Now, I could use Guns of God right now and upgrade that to a purple. But yeah, I think it's, it makes more sense to take the major risk. Upgrade again. I really hope I don't regret this decision. But we are going for a max card right now. It's... Oh, okay, we have one garrison. Good. And it's Guns of God again. So we're going to say goodbye to that one, obviously. Put out this one. And if you didn't know, this makes it times eight spawn rate. Oh, yeah. We are pushing them back now. Okay. Whew. It's a good thing that worked out for me because I could have just got a bunch of items there and that would have been pretty bad. And we're back to awful hands. So I'm going to use my blessing to get a free card. Oh, great. It's a freaking tower that I can't put down. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. Yep, that's it. There we go. Okay, well, this is kind of a roguelite. You get better as you go. So you are going to die sooner or later. Looks like we had a nice mix of damage distribution. Uh, holy damage and Hellfire damage doing the most of it. Unholy, we only put uh, on at the end, so obviously it took a while to catch up to that. All right, but that's the gist of how the game goes. There's a bunch of achievements, too. These, All these achievements unlock different cards, too. So hopefully we can get some of those soon. I have $179 right now. I would love to save for that new guy because I haven't unlocked any of the guys yet. Uh, he will. He's the locksmith. So essentially, I can sacrifice power for uh, to prevent cards to be discarded between rounds. That's fantastic. And what's more important, you start with three open structures. Much better than intern Ruby. But we got to start with Ruby. I hope we can do some sort of tower build now because I definitely prefer the towers. But I can get what I can get. A uh, basic tower that deals holy damage. I guess we'll start with those. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, let's just turn this into a green. We might get a better green. And, oh, we got real lucky. Okay, so we got Sin Spotter up here. So what I'm going to do is just keep these two down here. Next round, we'll keep this one safe and upgrade one of those to a green. So we are using the power of holiness now. And it's not doing much damage, but hey, it's something. All right, first and foremost, we will grab Sin Spotter. And, oh, I guess, you know what? We can combine these together. That's right. So we can have two greens, actually. And perfect. So now we have upgraded both our towers to green. All right, so we have a bunch of tower upgrades here. So what I'm going to do, I want this one the most punished. So I'm going to see if I can get a better blue, though, before I put that down. All right, we have that dark mark again. I think I'll keep that over there. I'd rather get this down right now, and we'll put the dark mark down next turn. All right, so we'll throw dark mark down. So we have that uh, death spot. Put, turn that on active. Um, garrison and garrison upgrade. Maybe... Maybe I should have waited because we might have been able to upgrade to a purple, but that's all right. Tower range by 15%. I think we'll do that. And then we'll throw these rocks down just because we can. Perfect. Maybe I should have turned those rocks into a green to see what we would have got, but that's all right. All right. We're holding out, though. They're just getting a little closer than they did when we did the garrison build. I don't know. Are we on the final wave right now? Yeah, this is my current round. So we are on the final wave. The pirate ships have made it to the land. They did not do that before. Can we kill them? Ooh, I'm going to take some damage here, I think. Nope, I didn't. Wow, I actually killed it in time. All right, give me something good. Give me something good. I mean, I'll take one blue. That's fine. 
course, now I'm in a tower build. I'm getting all the uh, garrison uh, cards. Ooh, 100% holy damage. Then I got to stay in holy, though. That's going to be really hard. I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go for the structure slot. Um, obviously, the holy upgrade would help immensely right now, but I'm trying to do the long play right now and get something better. For example, like Sunder I just got. So we'll throw that out. We get some Hellfire damage now. And we'll increase tower range because Sunder, that's the one downside of Sunder is its range is absolutely awful, as you can see. So got really lucky with that round, at least. And now we have an extra tower doing extra damage. Perfect. I don't know if we're doing better or worse than my other run, though. I feel like we're definitely doing worse. We got to increase these towers damage output because it is... Are you serious? What is this build? Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, very tempting to use that, though. All right, well, first and foremost, we'll upgrade our Sin Spotter to blue. We can definitely upgrade these to purple now if we want to. What I want to do now, I have three power left. Ah, uh, do I use this or do I upgrade to a purple? I think I'm going to use this. I think that's smarter. That 15% increase is huge. And we'll just keep this there for next round. Hopefully, we can upgrade that. Hopefully, we get another blue card that I don't need. Okay, and we did get a blue. Uh, gravitational push. Ooh, that's nice, too. <gasps> you know what I could do? I could upgrade my Sin Spotter to one and then put down this tower as well. I think that's the smarter idea. I still have that blue in my crafting slot, though. Oh, I thought I... Damn it. I thought I got Gravitational Push um, in my hand when I chose it. No, it's in my deck. Of course I didn't get it. So next round, we will definitely get that, though. So what we're going to do this round, then, is... Actually, I want to keep Frank... <gasps> Did I use it? I didn't mean to freaking use it, game. All right, well, that's not a bad thing. Frankie Fast Hands is a good card, but I didn't want to use that in case I needed four power for something. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and go for maybe a purple. Or I could do the big brain move of using Bless. My next card would be free. I have two cards in my hand right now. Uh, should I do that or should I just go for a purple? I feel, I feel like purple would be smarter. Because, yes, I could make that card free and then get that this round. Maybe if I have a 50-50 chance of getting said card. Oh, there's also the Sin Spotter Tower here. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? There's so many options right now. So I can combine these together or I could just use one of these on this and make it a purple. Okay, I really want this Gravitational Push Tower, um, being that I haven't used it before. So I think... Some people might think this is dumb because I can turn one of these into a purple right now if I wanted to. I think I'm going to take the risk. <gasps> there we go. Get a better gravitational push. Look at that. Now I still have three power. That worked out perfectly. Now I can upgrade one of these to a purple and I can put out another purple. We just got two purples instead, instead of only having one. I got really lucky that turn. Okay, now we have a nice pushback. You can see that's pushing them all back. That's going to give my towers more time to do some damage. Oh, that is a fantastic buff. All right, well, went for a blue. We got increased the damage of all tower projectiles by 15%. Fantastic. We'll definitely use that and use that. And that's the end of that turn. Oh, we got a boss coming in. Hopefully that damage increase is going to be enough. Because, yeah, I don't have great range. Still not in range of them. Oh, it pushes even the big bosses back. Wow. They're very slow, too. So that's going to be a great help. Wait, why did it stop? Does it have, like, a limit? I don't like that. Ooh, kill them quick. Quick. Oh, we got it. We did it. Okay. Wow. We're, I think we're doing much better. I mean, we're, we're full health right now, so it's going very, very well. And we got Butcher of Sins. Fantastic card to have. We're definitely going to grab that, and we'll increase tower damage as well. Woo-wee! All right. Do I go for an extra tower or do 100% tower damage? I think it's a no-brainer to get the tower damage right now. Uh, I think we have enough towers, and they're literally double useful now. And we finally found the Butcher of Sins card. That's all existing enemies HP to one. Obviously, we'll definitely use that and end the turn. All right, I feel like we're finally getting somewhere now. If I could upgrade that Sunder, that would be fantastic because it's still blue. Obviously, getting these to orange would be nice too, but I'm t totally happy with the purples. I mean, Punish is nice. It's tempting to use that, but I want to go for a purple, see if we can get lucky and get uh, Sunder. Ooh, or I just get rid of Sunder, being that we have buffed Holiness so much, and do another Sin Spotter. Hemorrhage is nice, too. Increases AoE of all tower projectiles. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna say goodbye to the Sunder and throw out two Sin Spotters. Then we can combine those together later to an orange if we find a better or, or a purple tower, for example. All right, this is the final wave, too. So if we survive this, I think this is officially further than we got before. I could be wrong on that. Ooh, I didn't realize my Butcher of Sins 
wasn't automated. Oh, you guys are going to be so mad at me. I'm sorry. I didn't use Butcher of Sins once until now. I guess that's showing we're doing... A, we have a pretty good build, though. And, oh, all greens? Gross. All right. Well, this is awful. Uh, I do have a little bit of health. No, I don't because I got rid of that tower. So, obviously, none of these are of interest. We'll get the extra slot. And I guess we are looking for a new tower now. Look at that. We got a blue sin spotter already. Okay, that's fantastic. Exactly what I could ask for, being that we're so big into holiness. We just got a bunch of sin spotters right now. All right, but before that, let's see if we can upgrade. Maybe get another sin sp Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, fantastic, dude. Oh, the dream. There we go. We already got a purple. We got three purple sin spotters. And just the icing on the cake. The one rock that we have is a holy damage rock. Oh, this is such a good run. And my damage has increased so much. Okay, we have holy win. Force towers have a high knockback and low holy damage. Unlimited pierce. So wait, does the gravitational push tower do holy damage? Because it says low holy damage. I don't even know what unlimited pierce means. But that is a tower. I think we'll use it and we'll combine one of these sin spotters to max it out. And there we go. We got holy wind as well. We're getting lucky being that we have all the holiness. At least we're building into one specific type of tower. Let's see if that pushback helps a bit. Yeah, it seems like we're doing much better now. Oh, kill him quick. Kill him quick. Please kill him quick. <gasps> butcher. Use the butcher. Why can't I use it? There we go. Got it. Okay. Uh, Chris is AOE of all tower projectiles. And range by 15%. Yeah, you know what? I think we're just going to use both of these and then use these rocks as well. That was just a lucky hand. Oh my god, how are we surviving this? Okay, is this the final wave? This is the final wave. If I survive this, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, this is the furthest I've been for the record to this stage. <laughs> so if we get to the next stage on this build as well, that is fantastic. And we actually did. What? What the? What the hell? What? What? Why do I see them all? Purchase a card. All right, so this is new. So I have money now. So that's what the money was that I was dropping. Um, I can shuffle these. These are all not that great, obviously. So I think I am going to shuffle. And oh, what the frig, man? It says purchase a card. So I'm assuming we, we only get one chance. So let's go shuffle again. Give me a purple, man. Thank you. Draw two cards. Okay, I guess I'll get you bastards. Well, there's no sense shuffling again because a blue is more than 50. So I'm just going to grab gravitational push. I hate that. What the freak is? Oh, okay. Thanks. All right. 40% tower attack speed or an extra slot. I think, you know, what we're doing going for an extra slot, baby. And hopefully we can get that slot filled pretty quickly. Okay. Oh my God. Force towers again. I got a holy wind again. I don't really understand this card. That's the thing. I'm going to do it. Screw it. I mean, we're in holiness. We may as well keep going. Because it doesn't say how much damage it does. All right, well, let's just see what happens. We're going to have major pushback. That's for sure, at least. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that the... Okay, so this thing, these straight lines that are doing so much freaking damage is the Holy Wind. Okay. It didn't really explain what the Holy Wind does, so I didn't really understand the card, but they seem to be doing a crap load of damage. Like, watch when this uh, team of troops get hit. Just wipes them out. It does 92 damage a hit. That's insane. This is another boss fight. This is legit a boss fight right now. I don't even... They're not even spawning in on my screen. How did I just do, a, like, the most amazing build? I don't even know what I'm doing in this game. This is great. All right, well, we're definitely not going to use Hail Satan, but we'll use Hail Satan to upgrade something. And I don't really care about the other card either. So awful cards here, but we get another structure slot. I mean, there's no sense going into garrison damage. So, yeah, I guess we're going for another tower. All right, well, um... I guess I'm going to go for a green Sin Spotter right now. I mean, it's a good temp card just to put in there. I mean, Sin Spotters are my main damage output anyways. And we'll do AoE because we haven't done much AoE yet. So that is a major upgrade of area of effect and more AoE there as well. All right, let's go for trying to get a new purple. So I'm going to go to a blue. No towers, unfortunately. I do want to get rid of the green Sin Spotter tower. That was just temp. So, let's see if we can get lucky. And we did get the Unholy MG. Uh, it's not holy, but I think it's worth it to go into a different tower right now. So, goodbye and hello, purple tower. All right. So, I don't even see... Oh, yeah. The Holy MG is the purple shot. So, it seems to be doing 50-ish damage. Not bad. It's actually kind of doing just as well as the other ones. The other ones seem to be doing about 63. That's doing 50-ish. So, not bad, actually. All right, well, we definitely have a lot more creeps on our screen now, but this build is just going so well right now. 
Um, that's the active that I wanted, so I'm going to use that. It's only one power, so we have more actives going on. Obviously, actives are fantastic. And let's see if we can get some sort of decent blue. We have Tower Ranger Bless. I don't know. I wish I saw what was in my deck before I did this. There's 10 cards, though, so I think the Tower Range just makes the most sense right now, and we'll use that right away. And there we go. All right, this is the boss fight. If we survive this one, this is insane. This is like three waves higher than I've ever been. Where did everybody go? Oh, I just used the, uh, the Butcher of Sins right at the perfect time. We're done. <laughs> Thanks, Butcher of Sins. And we got a great item there. And recharge rate of all actives. Those are both perfect items for me. <gasps> oh, God. 100% holy damage. I think that's that's a no-brainer. We've maxed out our tower, so I don't even get more towers now. All right, things are going well. I'm getting just really lucky with cards, so I've been using them and not really upgrading them. I mean, they're getting close, as you can see. But look at all my items I have now. This is... Oh, God. This is getting nerve-wracking. We got big creeps coming in. All right, well, I'll take the blue. We might need to start trying to upgrade. Did we still have the uh, blue holy wind? I'd like to upgrade that, obviously. Oh, it's too bad uh, I can't get a purple right now. Honestly, I think using hemorrhage makes the most sense. And we'll turn these rocks into a green. I can't really use guns of God, unfortunately. So tower range, gravity tower. Uh, obviously, we're just going to use this tower range. And that is it for this turn. This could be rough right now. These big guys are scary. Oh, wow. We just took them out. No problem. All right. Boss wave. They, I'm really not scared at all because my pushback is so fantastic, but it stops pushing. That's when it gets scary like this. Why does it stop? Oh, I shouldn't have said I'm not scared. Oh, I almost died. I almost freaking died. They really wanted to kill me there. I can't believe we survived that. Is that a, is that a, is that a, that's a, that's an orange. Well, we'll definitely keep that. And that, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's the problem. I can't, like, use it to upgrade any higher. That's the max upgrade. Oh, I get luck finally? None of these other ones really help me. I guess I do have the unholy machine gun, so that would be nice. But I'll get some luck. I'll get some luck on my side because I'm going to need some luck to get some health right now. Jesus. Where the hell are we now? Oh, it's just lanes? That's crazy. All right, so this should be interesting. So they can only come down the lanes. Isn't this easier for me? And we got our orange repenters. Oh, do I want to get rid of Holy Wind maybe and put that down? Yeah, you know what? Screw that. I can't not put down an orange, man. So we're going to put down repenters. Get our first little creeps going out. And I think it will be good with this because uh, they'll be able to blockade these uh, tight areas that they got to get into. All right. Well, another boss wave. I'm, I'm, I'm more powerful than hell now. They, they're, they're doing worse. I thought, you know, the deeper the rounds go, the better they would do. But I just have such a decent build right now, I think. Oh, we are truly in the pits of hell now, aren't we? Jeez. Um, sure, we'll do projectiles and recharge rate. Yep, that's actually very decent. All right, in the middle of this round, things have been going obviously pretty well. I'm going to upgrade to an orange right away. Um, ooh, I can upgrade my unholy MG tower. What, else, what other towers, gravitational push I could upgrade? I think I'm going to go for the sin spotter here. I hate getting rid of a purple tower, but I think it makes the most sense to do that. Oh, whoa, whoa that's a lot. Guys, chill. Oh, you're really just trying to kill me at this point, aren't you? Okay, final boss wave. Can my pushback hold out? Oh, the butcher just went off. Dude, that butcher is OP as hell. I got so lucky with that. I think I might have been close to death if that wasn't the case. I did it. I beat the game. You've gone and done it. I've never doubted you. Thank you, evil paperclip. Ah, uh, the 90s, man. It was a good time. You have now unlocked endless mode. You won't gain any rewards in endless mode, but you can use it to test your metal. All right. Well, that went way better than expected. For the record, my best run in this was about 80 bucks. How much did we earn here? 885 freaking dollars. Ah, oh, the power of holiness. I'm not shocked that my holy build was the one that survived hell. All right, guys. Well, now I got a crap load of money in this game. We also unlocked some cards, so let's see what they're all about. Yay, exciting. Increased tower attack speed. It's just Frankie Fast Hands. I guess I didn't have a purple one, though, until now. We have a blue holy damage. Divine Sight, tower range by 20%. A nice purple. So a lot of these cards are the same cards, just better rarities, it seems like. That's a new one. Draw a card every time you use a rock card. Rock cards cost plus one power. That's kind of cute. And Monkey Paw, that's new as well. Destroy three random cards in your deck. Increase tower and garrison damage by 50%. That's fantastic. I love that card. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Heretic's Fork. 
fantastic tower defense game uh if you guys would like to see more i would love to do more because uh now we have completed normal mode but more importantly i can actually afford pretty much anyone in this game if i wanted to so yeah let me know what you guys think as always thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one